Hey guys and welcome to another log of your Digimon Color version 2 and for today's log we have none other than Waymon Wait, Waymon, Waymon Wait. Okay, before we continue with etymology and how to pronounce its name I just want to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets then you've come to the right place because my channel focuses on raising Digimon and documenting them and I upload at least two times a week so if you like such content, please feel free to fire away Mon's jet arrow at the like and subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Now let's get down to today's log. So Waymon, I've decided to go on to raise Waymon because uh, I've tried about four times to try to get a traitor egg and I have failed miserably. Odds were not on my side this time. So I've decided to just go ahead and just proceed with the other logs that I want to get in. If I still can't get traded egg, then I will just have to move on to raising Crest Garurumon that is not born from a traded egg. I've mentioned many times in my earlier logs what is the benefit of having a Digimon with a traded egg. Basically, it's the bonus stats that you get if it's born from a traded egg. So I really wanted a Crest Garurumon that is born from a traded egg, but it seems like I'm not having that luck this time. So. We'll just have to move on and I have Waymon here and case in point, we need to talk about etymology because Waymon is spelled W-H-A-M-O-N and it's tempting to pronounce Wamon and in fact, in one of my earlier logs, I did mention Wamon because I always thought that's how to pronounce it but when I checked etymology, it turns out uh, the romanization of your Japanese characters suggests that, suggests that it should be pronounced Waymon to be precise, Huemon, which makes sense because it is a whale, whale, right? So um, the, the animal whale, and very clearly this is a whale, it's a Digimon based on the design of a whale. So um, it's whale, like that's how they would pronounce whale, so Huemon. So uh, it's just based on the romanization of the Japanese characters, so I guess that's how we're supposed to pronounce it. So I'm just going to pronounce it as Huemon from now on. And, and about pro Huemon, Huemon's profile, it's really kind of hard to get used to. Um, interestingly, on Digimon.net, it does specify that this is the champion level of Huemon. Now, if you search Huemon on Digimon.net, you realize there's a Huemon bracket champion and there's a parentheses champion and there's a waymon parentheses perfect or aka ultimate level because waymon is special that way when he first appeared in digital monsters version 2 it was a champion level digimon but for some reason when it came to the digimon pendulum series on deep savers which is a digimon pendulum that focuses on aquatic and marine type Digimon. For some reason, Waymon was featured as in as an ultimate level Digimon instead. Instead of being a champion, somehow it was elevated to a, an ultimate level Digimon. Not sure what is the reason there. Maybe they, th they thought that, well, it's a whale and it should be bigger and more powerful than a dolphin. For example, there's a Dolphmon that is a champion. So. They wanted to say, hey, you know, maybe they regretted that Waymon was um, featured as a champion. So this time they say, hey, let's just elevate it to an ultimate level. But uh, to cater for that sudden change, they did create two types of profiles. So they acknowledge that, hey, I remember Waymon is supposed to be champion level. So I'm going to create one profile for Waymon champion type. And there's a Waymon ultimate level. So for today's law, because this is Digital Monsters version 2 color, Waymon is a champion level. We're going to look at Waymon champion levels profile. Now, if we on the offshoot chance that Digimon Pendulum color is released in the future and we encounter Waymon in its ultimate form, then yeah, we can talk about Waymon's ultimate level profile. Um, as a matter of fact, he might even be featured as an ultimate level even on the Vital Bracelet series. You never know. I haven't seen it, um, but he could appear as an ultimate level. But for now, he is a champion level and we'll be looking at his champion level um, profile. 
So, champion level profile on Digimon.net says, Goemon is an aquatic Digimon that lives in the net ocean. The net works a great sea where Digimon were born. Since Goemon champion parenthesis, <laughs> resides in the net ocean's depth, encounters with it are rare and its visual organs have degenerated. Huh? What? Okay. Oh yes, so it's suggesting that it can't really see. Um, I guess it uses sonar to find out the surroundings. Waymon Champion is quite fierce and sometimes attacks by creating a giant tidal wave. Alternatively, its special move Jet Arrow involves firing a super high pressure blast of water from the blowhole on the back of its head. So keep in mind that thought about the Jet Arrow being a high pressure blast of water because you know originally waymon on the digital monsters version 2 its attack sprite on the little device is supposed to be a spear like an arrow like how it appears for a dramon and yeah dramon or c dramon or bird dramon but keep in mind that while we explore waymon's attack sprite this time on digimon color Spoiler alert, it looks different. It is not a spear. So I really like that. And we'll talk about that later when we go through that training. But yes, this is Waymon's uh, champion profile. And yeah, it does mention that its visual organs have degenerated. Basically, I think it means that it's blind. And as you can see on its artwork, if you haven't seen it on the thumbnail, you can just Google it as well. It doesn't appear to have any eyes. So I think that's what it's referring to, that its visual organs are you know, degenerated, it doesn't exist, so it seems to be blind. But anyway, enough of its profile and etymology, let's check out its sprite, shall we? Alright, let's take a look at Waymon's sprite. It's just idling around the screen. It is so cute the way it opens its mouth and look at that texture. Because it's colour, it has that gradient, it looks a lot better here. I mean, even on the original black and white sprite, it looks great. But some people did complain that it looks a little like a shrimp rather than a whale. Um, but honestly, I didn't see it that way. I didn't see it as a shrimp. I somehow managed to visualize it as a whale. whale. But um, uh, with that color, I think it becomes a lot clearer because you can really see the the black part of its head and its blue body being accurately represented even on this 16 by 16 pixels. So I think color really makes it pop. It really looks good. And the way it opens its mouth on the side, it's really, really cute. So I think it's really nice to see it on color. Enough on the idol. Let's feed it one piece of meat. Oh no, it's overfed, it's full, it doesn't want to eat meat. I have no choice, I have to feed it one piece of protein. Here you go. I really didn't want to do this, but I think one piece probably won't do much harm. All right, that's him. That's how he eats. Let's see the training. We need to have an unhappy training and check it out. This is what I was talking about. Look at it, it doesn't fire a spear. It fires, it fires a wave of water. And I'm very sure that in the original Digital Monsters version two, when Waymon was featured, he doesn't fire a wave of water. Incidentally, this same wave of water is a sprite that is used when you wash its poop. So is it poop water that it fires? Now, let's hope it's not poop water. But it is <coughs> depicted as a tidal wave of water, and I really like that. In fact, I think in digital Digimon Pendulum Deep Savers, when it's featured as an ultimate level, instead ultimate level digimon it does fire a wave of water hmm. so does that mean that what we see here is a premonition for its ultimate level form i don't know no i'm just stretching it but really i think it's cool that it decided to just upgrade its attack sprite to a wave of water rather than just keeping it boring like how it was on digital monsters version 2 where it's a spear i don't know uh, I might be remembering incorrectly, so please feel free to leave a comment in the section below if you remember or you have evidence that um, 
in the original Digital Monsters version 2 in 1997 that Hoemon, Hoemon has, a, has a, a wave of water and not a spear as an attack but I'm pretty sure I remember that Hoemon fires a spear I remember they all had generic attacks like for every version 1 to 5 there are two Digimon that fires fireballs like in version 1 it is Greymon and Tyranomon and then there are two Digimon that always fires a punching fist like Devimon and uh, Meramon for version 1 and Angimon and Yukidarumon for version 2 and there's always two Digimons that fire spears which is Adramon, Eadramon in version 1 and Seadramon in version 1 as well as Birdramon in version 2 and Waymon in version 2 but I remember it was very systematic and it was always standardized that way so I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure that's how it was but if you you have evidence of contrary please feel free to leave it a comment in the section below and i would like to check it out for sure but yes if memory serves correctly then it's great that waymon has this updated attack sprite of a wave of water i really like that so here we go i've been training him way too much it's time to just check out a battle um, and yeah, he's angry. Um, did I manage to capture the happy sprite? Oh man. Um, honestly, it's a lot easier to train on version 2 than in the original version. The attack bar is a lot more forgiving. But I would prefer if they can just fire that wave of water as a combined shot, like a double shot. That would have been nice. But anyway, it's still great. Whatever it is now. This is virgin battle. We do need to win. 15 battles because I want to capture Waymon's evolution which shall be spoiler alert Metal Mamimon and I want to get Metal Mamimon because I want to evolve into Metal Mamimon and maybe Metal Mamimon might end up as a traitor egg I don't know but let's hope for the best we can always hope can't we so let's just uh, skip ahead he wins that's great I need as many wins as I can. I need 15 wins. 15 victories to go. Two victories, that's great. Let's see how he fares against Rijimon, aka Yukidarumon. The Japanese name is Yukidarumon. I don't know why they had to change Yukidarumon to Frijimon. We can cover more on the etymology later. But yeah, I didn't really like that they had to change its name. Like, why? Anyway. <gasps> Alright. It's an even match so far. One hit, one miss. Let's go. Gonna win it. Yeah, two hits and one miss. That's great. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Waymon. Oh man. It's a draw so far. The last shot shall be the decisive one. Let's see who is the winner. Oh man, we lost. Oh crap, that's two wins and one loss. I need 80% win rate guys Let's hope for the best for Waymon But that is How The end of the 3 battles didn't play out so well Alright, let's move on to the next part of the log We want to capture him saying no So let's switch it to evening I like the evening sun, it looks great Waymon say no in the evening sun Oh, it's so cute when he says no Okay And then we see it's a sleeping animation as well he sleeps quite early, he sleeps at 9, that's earlier than Elecmon, Elecmon slept at 10 Or is he sleeping earlier than a rookie Digimon? Maybe he needs more sleep, but that's how he sleeps It was cute Alright, that's gonna do it This is the end of the Waymon log I think this is which log right now? <laughs> I've lost track of the count I think it's a um, ninth log or something Anyway this is another log of the Digimon Color version 2. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like what you watch and like such content, don't forget to fire jet arrow at the like and subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our uploads. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.